Looks like there are significant updates coming to mouse and keyboard and other things when it comes to Halo Infinite for Season 2 of the HCS. Sketch replies to about the current ping issue and packet loss, and new achievements have come to Halo Infinite with the winter update. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So with co-op and mission replay coming back into Halo Infinite for the campaign side of things, we have some new achievements coming in as well, which is going to be great. Uh, there's going to be 24 new achievements equaling 420 gamer score, score. That's right. You heard me. 420 gaming score. That might be the most epic thing I've ever heard, possibly. But uh, a lot of these various challenges are simple things like get at least one kill with every available weapon and grenade on the banished ship, stuff like that. Uh, defeat Tremonius with the skewer. So like nothing too crazy. Some of them are a little more niche and stuff like that. But I love the art that came with this. It just looks amazing. I love the key art for these achievements. It looks so good. And I'm, it's one of the things I think 343 really nailed was the art style with Halo Infinite. So if you guys want to, can't wait to jump in and play some co-op for the November update, well, you guys are going to be in good hands because it's going to be a, not only just co-op and mission replay, but we also have some challenges coming in too because I know some guys out there are definitely some achievement hunters out there. Now we also have some updates when it comes to the mouse and keyboard support when it comes to Halo Infinite, but a lot of other things as well. Uh, it sounds like there's gonna be a pretty significant sandbox update coming in November as well. I do plan on making a video about that, talking about that, my speculation, and my wants for when it comes to the sandbox update. I should have that video up sometime uh, in the next couple of weeks or so. I mean, we got to wait till November, so we have time right here. Though this tweet here from Ian, if you guys watched the HGS on Sunday, he was part of the military army showcase kind of sponsorship bit that they had right there. He was on stage with them. He's been a huge Halo fan for the longest time. Got a chance to meet up with him in Kansas City. Great guy. Uh, it says also, it says there's lots of exciting things to be excited about when it comes to Halo. The Halo World Championship coming next month, which I will be at. If you guys see me there, make sure to stop by and say hey. We have Forge coming in on November. New partners. We just had Quadrant just announced. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other ones as well. Uh, season 2 for Halo Infinite he says it's coming sooner than you think with less time between events, which was mentioned previously by Tashi that they want to have more events more often, but much more of a truncated, condensed kind of season just to kind of keep the hype rolling so we don't have these long lulls of, well, nothing happening for months at a time. So that's really exciting to see right there as well. And also we have a meta shift in competitive gameplay. Keyboard and mouse will be a viable option, which is really surprising to see about that. Talk about that more in a bit. And the last bit saying that two new maps added into the arena rotation. One of those is definitely going to be the pit. We did see Tashi himself say that the pit will likely become part of the season two when it comes to the competitive side of things of Halo, meaning that the pit will likely be a ranked map for obviously Halo Infinite as well. Super excited about that. I love the pit. It's one of my all time favorite maps. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Now keyboard and mouse being viable. That is very interesting because I love playing mouse and keyboard. Halo is actually the only game I play on controller. So how could they actually make mouse and keyboard be more viable? Either they help out with like the bullet magnetism on there. So then the tracking shots will not be so difficult or maybe just add a little bit of aim assist. I don't know, because the big thing is that with Halo, we have these one-on-one -on -one gunfights, you're strafing left and right. It's e much easier for the controller to keep on the target with the aim assist that's in there. Even though aim assist is rather low in Halo Infinite, that it's definitely there and it definitely helps out a lot where you see all top pros and everyone who's trying to you know play at their peak performance, they play on controller. Now, I would absolutely prefer to play on mouse and keyboard. We'll see what they do with the platform and input device if they can figure out some ways to bounce it out a little bit more because there's certainly an accuracy difference. For example, this graph here on Reddit showcases the top 100 controller players and their average percentage of accuracy. They're able to pull this with the API and stuff like that, utilizing that information. And you can see that the top 100 controller players average rate just over a 55% accuracy for the most part. The top 100 mouse and keyboard players average around a 45 to 50% accuracy rating right there. So that tells you right there, like these are both really high caliber players. Clearly mouse and keyboard is playing a little bit lower. Now, but the thing is that the 50 percentile controller players, so like the of average and above players, for controller are definitely a little bit lower than the top 100 mouse and keyboard, but then in context at the top 50%, 50th percentile because of mouse and keyboard, it's just like just above 40%, which if you're playing Halo Infinite ranked especially, it's not that good. That's not good aim at all. Like even I on the controller can probably average around like 
50. I've even had 60% accuracy a lot of times as well, so it's not too tricky. If I can do it, I'm sure a lot of the top 100 control players can definitely do it as well. So it'll be very interesting to see how 343 balances out the input device. I'm definitely looking forward to it and the sandbox update that we know that's coming along with it as well. We finally heard an update about the whole packet loss and server fluctuation issue that's going on with Halo Infinite. And we do know that 343 did address that they are working on it. We haven't heard much about it. And someone tweeted at sketch saying can you provide an update on these server inconsistencies pings move around unstable packet loss etc i submitted a ticket but it's been weeks now Sketch reply back saying i wish i had better news this has been an ongoing high priority active issue and widespread investigation with multiple partner teams involved thus far it's been very elusive and difficult cause to pinpoint work continues which is super Super sad because this is, I've been having this huge issue as well. My pings are fluctuating generally about like plus or minus 60 within the match itself. But according to the server, I'm either like 60 ping away or I'm moving like across the country or I'm like right next to the server. Things are getting really weird. And the last time I played, I was like, man, it's been a long time since I played Halo Infinite. Let's jump in and play some games. And the last time I did, well, this happened. The Mangler, I don't think about the other weapons. Oh, look at that sick ping. Packet loss, dude. Let's go. Oh, did my, do my game... Oh, I was like, oh my god. Did my game just crash? Oh my god. Look how much I'm around the corner. God damn it. I don't know what to do. I think my game actually crashed this time. Hey, do we have a sick like, crash rate on the placement match? Oh no, I just kept walking forward again. Okay. Holy... What is going on? You can see with this tweet, I had over 11,000 views on this video, so a lot of people left comments on it as well, just kind of saying like, yeah, I've been experiencing some crazy stuff as well when it comes to this game. It's really tough to enjoy and have fun with it, which is a shame because I love Halo Infinite's gameplay. I love the multiplayer side of things. I love playing ranked. It's just that the game is just isn't functioning as it should. It's been taking a long time to get this server issue figured out. This has been an issue that's been going on since like July. I mean, this was really starting to pop up around early August, right before the North American Super event for Halo HCS. And well, it hasn't gotten any better. So I don't know what's happening. Of course, once we do get some more information about the server issue, and what's going on with it i'll let you guys know here on the channel so i think i just created like the most detailed epic longest and most effort i have ever put into a video right here i'm talking about a mono for two beta review guys it's a long one but it's worth listening to it's premiering on my channel today if you guys are watching this video as soon as it goes live so i hope to see you all there i'll be in the chat talking with you guys on that video there i talk about the good the bad and the ugly ui thank you very much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out